uh, welcome to Stealthcraft. Um, it's been four or five years since we showed off our 14 foot cataract for no good reason. It's a real popular seller because of the versatility it has. There's really nothing like this in the market. We have the blend of our drift boat on the inside and the rug ability and durability of a raft on the outside. One really cool thing we're gonna first go over before we get it on the water is our trailer. The biggest damage that goes on these is in transit. We get a bunch of gear and everything, and we're, we're hauling this out, and there's a lot of wear and tear just on the trailer, you know, more, more than you would ever be able to do on the water. Trailering it back and forth is harder on these tunes. So what we have here is our trailer now is set up like cab over snowmobile kind of style with the tires under it to keep the width down. We got a plat score deck here is really awesome so you could do other you know things with this uh, behind here there's a set of rollers that you'll see when we push it push off and uh, it comes on and off um, I'll show you it's lit up with you know cool LED lights it's got a swing tongue on it uh, Trevor will show you Trevor will show you there's a there's an anchor nest here so you drop that in here we've got our jack here just really well thought out. This is our big winch, um, has a 45 foot strap, 40 foot strap, uh, 1800 pound winch. Everything's really high end. This tilts too. You pull that and it tilts up and down. You know, you really can't get a better trailer. Swing tongue, everything's set up really nice with anchor nest. We can fit a spare tire under there. It does, this one doesn't have a spare, but it's easy to put on there. So this is just really tricked out. The boat is not super optioned out, but it's got everything you need. You know, on these catarafts, you know, we've done things, crazy things. Um, usually we do it on the bigger ones, the 16s. We'll put trolling motors on them and get them all kind of fancy. These boats do motor quite well. It takes about a 20 uh, to get it on plane. A 30 gets it going better with the new four stroke technology. Those smaller motors don't really have a lot of rip. This is set up really cool. Um, this rowers box comes out and the, the cooler comes out. So what's nice about that is this is a, what I've used this boat for in the past is I get like, you know, the whole family and you can take everything out and you know, you can just sit on the sides and you can motor this around. They motor great with an eight horse. They motor better than a drift boat because they're so wide and stable. So it'll scoot around really nice with an eight horse. It just about gets on plane. We like that eight horse that Mercury sells because it's uh, the only one that has electric start um, at, at that smaller, at that smaller. But anything like you know, if you're Yamaha, um, you know, a nine nine Yamaha works good. A six horse works good on these. They still motor better than a drift boat. We have that integrated rod storage here, so you have you know rods, three rods can fit in here. You know, big fly rods. We've really tweaked this, you know, over the years, so you can get, you know, the, the, the musky guys can get their big guides in here. You can get spinning rods in here. And then you could still stand on this deck here. Um, so you can stand up here and fish. And that's what really makes these really cool is the ability to stand on these wings. The boat is extremely stable and it's such a multi-use thing. Like I say, you can have your family out in it. I've had me, four kids two adults and you know everybody just sits up on these on these sides and we went to the you know the, the sandbar that every you know I've, oh, there's the sandbar all over the country and i've taken this out with an eight horse on it and you know i was sitting next anchor next to eighty thousand dollar hundred thousand dollar boats and this was the talk of the town so we have these tunes uh you know just loose which you really want when you're storing anything inflatable you don't want them 100 percent it gets warm it expands and you have problems so you know we we're, we're gonna air these up but we just when we're, when we're in transit there's no weight on here all the weights on the trailer we talked at length with the trailer it's you can't build one better um, and uh, we're gonna take it out for a spin show you how great it rose um, we can do I'll get Trevor up here and we can do kind of a top down on this interior once again these uh, this, this box comes out and it just straps in, which is really cool. So if you're a bigger guy, you can set this up. You can move this forward or aft. 
can kind of set it up like you know if how many people are fishing. Like I said, I just gotta strap this down a little harder to get it where exactly I want. Now it's really solid and I can really lean into that. I got all my weight on that and I can move it if there's a bigger guy or someone smaller. So it's really modular. I really like the way that's set up. You know, there's just enough room that you can still walk around here. But like I say, when I'm usually in here, um, I walk up on this top. And these are just an, a really amazing to fish off of. Like I say, just the ability to be able to stand up here and fish is really nice. I love the shulcut blade and it's a good combo. Um, Sawyer makes a really nice uh, shaft and Cataract makes a nice blade. You can team them up. It's got a big chunk of lead here. It's counterbalanced. These do need longer oars. So these 10 foot oars and feel really heavy, but now that they're counterbalanced, it doesn't feel awful. So as you can see, the 14 is really the one that I push. Um, you know, guides can use it for something this big. Um, you know, it's still big enough to fit three guys very successfully. The 16 doesn't grow quite as snappy as this. Uh, it, it is definitely, you know, more recommended for like outfitters and stuff like that. Or if you're going to really motor it a lot, a lot of people want to put motors on these things, which is fine. Um, this has got three or three sets of drain plugs, which you can pull. And what's nice about it is like right now I can pull the drain plug here and the water won't come in with these 25 inch tunes. So I can just leave these out if it's raining um, I don't really need these in right now but um, you know it's nice if it's if it's uh, if it's raining or you definitely want them in if you're motoring or water will will switch in but if you're doing some hardcore white water stuff it's nice to be able to take those out and water will come out just as fast as it comes in which is really beneficial because you can take this on some pretty crazy stuff the, the pontoons will take it. Those are, you know, made by us in-house, real burly pontoons. Um, we also have a Hypalon option. If you're really gonna get crazy with white water, it's a, it's quite a bit price increase, but if you know what Hypalon is, you know that it's a lot more expensive. These are PVC material, but we do have, like I say, the Hypalon option if you're gonna get really hardcore and aggressive white water on this, but uh, it's really cool. Like I said, there's not really a better rowing one that has this much stuff. I mean, yes, does this weigh a little bit more, even with the plastic or tub, um, than an aluminum one? Yeah, but an aluminum one isn't the sweet. It doesn't have the storage. You can't do this. You don't have cool rod storage. This thing's really well thought out, and it floats. Like I say, there's an old video that we did six, seven years ago. We took the tunes off. Like I said, if you got in a gunfight, you'd be fine because this still floats. Um, and I'll get out there and show you, but all of this is cool. It's just really nice to fish out of. Like, you know, if there's a fish feeding right here, I can stand right here and fish to it. Nothing to catch line off. There's some guys that use these um, in the Keys as their backup like flats boat, because they just fish so much like a flats boat. Like I say, uh, a lot of times when I'm using the one, I'll take everything out. The casting braces, everything, except for like a rower seat. And my buds will just sit wherever just because it's just such a nice open casting thing. It's so stable, you don't really need a, a leg lock. I mean, they're nice if you're older and you need something to lean on, or, and I consider myself older now. Um, I'll show you how snappy it rolls around. Uh, there's a little bit of a lead time on them just because it's a, like a hard bottom boat um, but it's worth the wait they're super cool really versatile you'll get a ton of fishing out of it like I say the trailers second to none the boats you can't no one's got anything close to this everybody makes a drift boat no one makes this um, and it rows like a drift boat it's as durable as anything um, if 
you don't if you don't like hitting rocks but you want that drift boat solid feel this is it for sure and like i say they motor great they just check so many boxes they're not as sexy as one of our drift boats but you know there's always pluses and minuses to everything so i'll sign off and uh, let me know if you need a 14 foot cataract we'd uh, love to get you one and like i said we make this in the 16 too so have a good day